And just like that, hello everybody, welcome back to Urban Cow Gaming. My name is Julian. My name is Seth. And we are back playing Lego Lord of the Rings today. Sethy, tell them what happened in the last video. Well, we pretty much went into a giant graveyard that's hidden in the mountains. That is... That, uh, they actually have had a curse on them that... Um, that the kin of Gondor could only release them from their living death sh should they follow through with their promise. Which is to fight, and through a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, confusion with uh, what happened in the last episode, we um, we gained their loyalty, and they will fight for us. So, and who knows what's going to happen them. next part. So let's find out what happens next. Ooh. I have left instruction. Long may you defend Adoras. If the battle goes in. We must ride light and swift. He's like, you're a girl, you can't fight. Because girls are smelly and they can't they can't do anything for themselves, right? Little hobbits. People of olden days. Fucking it not is a inclusive day ass. Minas Tirith, and none of my riders can bear you as a burden. I will say no more. <laughs> right. Tiny little, horse. Little pony. Okay. All right. Now right. I believe we, we should see what what uh, Frodo and Sam are up to. Yep. Oh. What did I do? I, no, it's not you, it was me. I didn't realize how close to the level I was. Oh, okay. It's like I took two steps and all of a sudden just. Minus Mogul. City. Yeah, you know all these city names and I have no place. idea. Yeah. I feel like he's leading them into a trap, but it's fine. Hmm. I would have never have guessed. Alright, so... There's so much, like... There's so much to these stories that, like, I've never known. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like... I really, I really should take the time to read the books, because apparently, like, if you don't read the books, you're an idiot. <laughs> it is then. I, as far as my Lord of the Rings knowledge goes, like, I completely read The Hobbit from front to back. Mm -hmm. Now, I tried to get through Fellowship of the Ring. Now, mind you, it was, like, many years ago, but... Reckon and I should try to... <laughs> I should definitely try to, uh... Redo it my uh, try to read it myself. So, I mean, but I only knew like know so much in regards of like what the films have established and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, like I know there's certain things that are different, you know, so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, but I mean, every adaptation has that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's where I come in. Oh, you need. What do I need? Oh, Frodo! Should do something useful for fucking once. I hate to say that, like, Frodo's useless, but he kind of is. Yeah. Like, any, if you think about it, he's also kind of useless in the movies. He doesn't really do shit. He just kind of sits there and, like, gets hunted by people, and Sam kind of bails him out every time. I mean, you're not Ron. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what the heck? I think I stepped on one of the pieces, and I just got levitated up first <laughs> because of it. Um, 
It is definitely a... Is it it's... it's a, how, how, how would I put this? I think it's like a... a uh oh. Oh, oh, I gotta control Frodo or else... Uh... Yeah, I was, I was supposed to say, like, what are you doing? Okay, I don't think we're supposed to go down. Oh! Oh! I didn't see that over here. Yeah, neither did I. It's like, he does have this major, like, major role in everything. And it's like, I understand that he doesn't want to get into, like, you know, he, don't, he doesn't want to be in the battlefield. You know, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Because he's close, he'll be, he'll just be asking for the enemy to come up and just, you know, just frickin' Take the ring off of him. Yeah. But so it's, it's also like, it's... like... Well, yeah, I mean, I get it. But why Frodo? Like, why couldn't they have been t trusted it to, like, Sam? Sam's so useful. <laughs> I mean... He would have done such a good job protecting him. Well, I mean, the scene with, um... Oh, that's a lot of studs. Um... Well, in the meeting where they're in Rivendell and they're trying to discuss the Ring Bearer, everyone else was kind of like undergoing, like, you know, they're fighting against each other, and this is. It's kind of like one of those things, I guess you could say, where. It's like that hidden meaning of. Uh. Is there like man, a my, third section of staircase we're supposed to build there that we just haven't I found yet? I feel like. I feel like that is the case. Um, but anyhow. Like, everyone's kind of fighting against each other, but here's Frodo just... Like, he's... Like, he kind of sees everything that's going on around him, and it's like... No one seems to be willing to take... Oh! Never mind. How did you do that? It, no, there's just, uh... It's just, uh... Gotta jump at a right angle there. Oh, wow. Alright. So, I mean... Well, we're also just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Last second. Alright. So I just feel like Frodo took up the challenge because I mean you have to think like with how the story like establishes about the rings of power and all that stuff, like Yeah, I get it. So like they entrusted it to somebody who doesn't really care. Yeah, someone who doesn't want power greed. Except by the end of it, doesn't he like not want to take it off? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I found like a very interesting theory about it, but I'll talk about more once this cutscene gets through. Damn, ring raids coming after us, bro. Yeah, the Witch King of Angmar too. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> that was the Nazgul that was riding on the, on the dragon with the helmet. Hmm. Look at those orcs doing their little orky dance. Alright. But anyhow, as I was saying, like, the, I found this uh, theory on TikTok, of all places, uh, by this group called Raider, uh, Raiders of the Lost Podcast. And this guy came, I don't know if he came up with the theory, or he heard it from, uh, or if he heard it from some someone else that, like, no matter who would have taken it to Mount Doom, they would have been corrupted by the rain anyhow. Because the closer you, because... The closer that they were to the source, the more Frodo started to become more and more, like, uh, what's the word? I mean, more and more corrupted. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, like, he, I think he was, he got stabbed by, by one of the Nazgul blades. Uh, there's a place for your file. Yeah, right I'm here. coming over. Okay. So... And because those are pretty much made, you know, by Sar, I, I think they're made by Sauron or something like that. You know, like, in, he only has that, like, corruption inside of him to begin with, because yeah. of what happened at the Weathertop. And plus, in the one scene where they are traveling across to get right to Mount Doom, Sauron's eye was right on him. So, you can, you could possibly factor between those two. That. Gotcha, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, it's a mimic! 
A chest with teeth? That that's a mimic. <laughs> hmm. Um And like, while, like I said, while these are all sensible, I believe it's the it's the matter where it's like eventually, you know, it could have been anyone Oh whoa whoa whoa. That's a bit too close to the edge. Um What? Because the rock would have blocked you if you jump, try to jump gotcha, off. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like, I don't understand what's going on. So basically, anybody that would have went to try... What? What? What the heck? I just, like, tried to jump off and then landed somewhere else. Huh. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much it's like... I felt like it could have been anyone. It's just with, like, someone like Frodo, or even Bilbo for that matter, up until, like... You know, the events of Lord of the Rings. But that guy, he's had the ring for such a long time. But he never turned into someone like Gollum, though. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, but he also, at the end of The Hobbit, didn't do anything with it, right? He just kind of left it where it was. He kept it in, in his yeah. pocket. Like I said, this, this is all, like, theory and, uh, theory speculation. and speculation. But I feel like both theories are very plausible, though. Oh, I'm not. I'm not liking where this is going, Seth. Dude, yep. I see too many fucking spider webs, bro. Oh, I know. I am not digging it. I am not digging it. I I don't want anything to do with it. That little piece. That little piece right in front of you can be broken as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and that too. Yeah, I'm so. not digging where this is going, bro. <laughs> I'm not about it. Ah, fuck. I can already tell it's going to be something I don't like. Oh, that's just a flower. <laughs> Seth, don't don't tell me that that's what I think it's gonna be. I'm you want me to be honest? No, no, no. It's okay. You don't have to be honest. You can just lie to me. Let me figure it out when it happens. All right. We do run up stairs really fucking fast. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh! I didn't mean to. Didn't I know. Mean to do that. Exhaust. <laughs> he said, "All right, pass the fuck out." <laughs> Place. That thing around your neck. I could help a bit. I could carry it for a while. Carry it for a while. Share the load. Share the load. No! Get away! I don't want to keep it. See, he wants it for himself. I just want to help. Go home. What? Fucking little, fucking little green little monster fucker. Fine, I will go home. Yeah, um... Also, with that, back to the one theory. Since the ring can talk to the wearer, it can easily manipulate, manipulate everything just as we've seen with Frodo and Sam just now. Mm -hmm. So upon the exhaustion, the blade from the ring wraith. Son of a bitch, this is going exactly where I don't want it to go. <laughs> so, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, dude. This is going exactly where I don't want it to go. Oh, God. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I do remember this part. Oh, God, there's so many. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't even pull out my sword anyway. Ugh. Oh. Oh god, I hated that. 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's not good. Don't go that way. I feel like that's the way uh, to where we're not supposed to go. Oh, never mind. Mini kit. <laughs> uh, shit. Let me see if All I can right. light anything up here. Nope. Oh god. Oh, I'm so not interested in this part. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, if there's one thing I hate, fucking anything, it's fucking spiders, man. Oh! I can see part two of the double. <laughs> oh god, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. No, thank you. I am very much okay with not doing that. Oh yeah, so, god. That was so a when big time, shadow, dude. It was. <laughs> but uh, so anytime I, everyone will say, you know, when someone says, oh, you should have just given the ring to Sam, it's like... He I probably would have done the same thing to him, too. Yeah, yeah I felt like it just would have delayed the inevitable. Oh, I'm so not digging where this is going, bro. Holy uh, fuck, oh, there's it's so bad. many. When the, Lord of the, when the Return of the King video game came out, there is this level in the game, and they were all highly detailed. So, I think it's bad now. <laughs> I'm not digging it. Oh fuck, I know there's going to be a big Careful. fucking spider we're going to have to fight. Don't forget the studs. Nope, I got him. I so don't want to have to do that, dude. Hold on, here I come. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Oh god. Didn't like that sound. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh sad! No! Oh god. Looks like someone's got arachnophobia. A little bit. Just, just Why does we go this way? No, don't go that way. Oh, I got the creepy jeebies. Ah, oh, bro. I'm so not into this right now. Oh, that's a body. My fucking... I'm glitching out here. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. I'm just not about it. Oh yeah, get those. Blueies. Get up there and get those studs. I'll say you did the I did the uh not I need, but... Alright, there's two ways we can go. And it's like... Do we try to see what's up here on this side? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, good. I was like, oh, th this could... E this could go a lot of different ways. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, I've got to try to get... Almost there. We are so close. Uh, well, we're going to have to fight the spider anyway. That's going to be part of this level. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not... Mm -mm. 
Need up. Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck you. Hey, true adventurer. Oh, I. Oh, Seth. Oh, I'm so freaked out right now, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Frodo, <laughs> fucking run, dude. Jump, bro. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, I'm so not digging it. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh, I'm so freaked out. Fucking beat his ass. So sorry, Sam. So sorry. Oh shit, they're. N wow. Well, so we don't fight the Shelob. I thought okay. we were gonna have to fight it at the end. That's that's what I was thinking too. I was like, wait a minute. Well, that's surprising. Yeah. Also, a lovely turn of events. I don't know if I could have handled fight the <laughs> spider thing. <laughs> Oh wow, we're at a million studs, dude. Yeah. Squick sword. What is that? Alrighty. Well. Adventure. With that, I think uh, I think I'll leave this episode there. Thank you all very much for watching. If you liked it. Go ahead, subscribe to our YouTube. Follow us, twitch.tv slash everykind. Or if you're extra cool, Seth, what do they do? Well, I say they got two choices. They they either, A, if they're not cool, we throw them into the cave with spiders. Okay. Or, if they could save their lives, if they subscribe to both. Oh, I think that's a great idea. So you heard it first here, folks. Either subscribe to both, or we're going to throw you in the spider cave. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch all you dudes on the next episode of Urban Cow Gaming. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!